My topic is freebie marketing and detail explain and let's go to the topic and let's go to the start. Marketing practice that exploits the freebie concept as a hook for increasing visitor numbers, consists of including promotional freebies on a website as a value added to regular content. It is important that the gifted applications or objects maintain a certain relationship with the site content and are identifiable, and also creative and original. Freebie comes from English and its meaning is gifts. In the world of marketing it is used to refer to a strategy that consists of offering a very low-cost product as a gift to users who enter the web in question or want to contact a brand. They range from tools through applications, documents or any material that may be useful. The freebies can be seen both digitally and offline, both at events and large fairs. It is a way to take advantage of the attractiveness of the free and in this way enhance the attraction to a certain brand. Despite this, the concept has gained its true relevance thanks to the internet. Thanks to the digital sector, it has made it not only easy to offer them but also to create them. Freebies is a technique used by companies in order to attract consumers and thereby generate leads. In other words, it is about motivating them to buy products of the brand and become loyal to it. It can be considered a perfect example of word-of-mouth marketing, as users can come to recommend free products. It is, in short, to be a sample of how the company, brand wants to take care of its audience. It is also a way of welcoming those who are undecided when choosing or those who at some point were customers but who are not currently customers. When it comes to marketing, there are a variety of techniques that can be used to get your business seen by more people and ultimately increase sales. One of these techniques is freebie marketing. Freebie marketing is a strategy where businesses offer a free product or service to attract new customers. This can be a great way to introduce people to your business and products, and can help you build loyalty among customers. Additionally, this strategy can help you stand out from your competition, as most businesses do not offer freebies. Make sure your freebie is valuable. If your freebie isn't useful or interesting, people won't bother using it. 2. Offer something unique. If everyone is offering the same thing for free, people will have no reason to choose your business over others. 3. If the quality of your freebies isn't good, people will be disappointed and may not want to do business with you in the future. So, have them align with your product strategy to enhance your brand image. 4. Promote your freebie well. You can use social media, your website, and through other channels. This way more people will talk about your brand and as a result, you will get more business sales. By offering a valuable free product or service, you can attract new customers and build loyalty among current ones. Promote your freebie well and make sure the quality is good, and you'll be able to see results from this marketing strategy. Freebie marketing is according to me a smart way of marketing. Our topic of the day is freebie marketing. In this type of marketing, a product is sold for free or at a low cost in order to boost the sales of the organization. This marketing tactic is not for every organization. I will be discussing this later in the post. There is a lot of misconception in the air regarding freebie marketing that a product is given for free so that the other products can get the benefit. And, in this post, I will definitely to resolve this conflict. Organizations can use freebie marketing in order to increase their sales and ROI. And, Many organizations are using this around the corner as well. But an organization must use this kind of strategy if the company is big enough and have a loyal fan base. It is more useful in this case. Let us understand the concept of freebie marketing. From an example, suppose a company deals with kids' garment. So, when they are selling the same, they can provide an additional garment at a low cost. Like, buy one and get one almost free. Other examples of the freebie. Ebook podcast for a service 23 days free trial sample of food for the food related industry this way they can get more customers for their garments but one needs to be cautious with freebie marketing as many time the plan tend to backfire because if you are providing an item for free or at low cost then the competitors can frame the company that they are providing the products at a low cost because of its poor quality these kinds of stuff happens in competition so when using the freebie marketing, extra caution is needed. Because of this kind of things, the company can lose customers as well as profits. Yes, be careful. Every customer likes free things or products. It's normal. So, if you don't really want to offer free products then you can opt to provide some special discounts, free shipping costs, 
This kind of pieces of stuff attracts customers, but be careful. Freebie marketing is defined as any promotion, low price product, or giveaway that encourages the sale of another, higher value product. Companies are basically giving customers a taste of their products to attract them and retain their loyalty. Freebie marketing need not always be the distribution of free products. These campaigns are also called loss leader programs. A loss leader is a product which is sold at a loss in order to attract customers. We can observe that everyone responds to the word free. It attracts customers and induces them to afford the product or service. Freebie marketing is a reliable to strategy to increase sales. Online services may offer free trials and doctors and lawyers may offer free consultations. Value-added low-cost product can drive sales to the top. When you give out freebies, you need not spend money on other types of marketing, inbound or outbound. Outbound marketing is considered annoying because of the interruption. Involved in inbound marketing takes a lot of time and resources. It is said that freebies market themselves. When relevant information is provided on the website of your company, word will start to spread by itself. People will do the work for you. Another plus point is that when freebies are provided, customers are willing to share some of their details such as their email addresses and contact number. This can be made use of in further marketing processes. Successful freebie offerings share similar attributes. They meet a brand's target market where they spend time and deliver something of value. They also avoid asking too much of the customer. In addition, freebie marketing increases brand visibility. That's why freebie marketing is the best way to market new products. New products come within the reach of the customers. Hence it is an effective way to market products and services. Freebie marketing is the razor and blades business form, is a business model wherein single entry is sold at a little price, or sometimes specified left for free, in order to enhance sales of a corresponding good, such as supplies. For example, inkjet printers need ink cartridges, Swiffers need cleaning fluid, mobile phones need repair contracts and game consoles need accessories and software. A freebie is a marketing tool that allows customers to get to know your brand better, often, but not always, in the form of complimentary goods. So how is this useful? It creates a positive buzz. People love getting things for free, who doesn't? It makes them feel valuable, and a good interaction will probably get them talking about your business to their friends. They encourage customers to try other products. After testing the waters of your products, Customers are more likely to come back for more. Offering something for free will help to reduce the hesitation people have of trying out something new. It makes your brand look good. Your aim is to make the customer happy, and what better way than to offer them something to try at no cost? It means you're not just in it for the money, but for offering services to those who will genuinely value them. They make you look confident. If you are confident in the products that you offer, and you certainly should be, then offering one for free is the best commercial for your business you can put out there. It makes customers trust what you are offering and raise the chances they will come back for more. Because there's nothing to lose. Let's say somebody wants to introduce you to a new product, and it sounds very interesting in theory, but you're not so sure if you'll like it. Would you still pay to try it out? The answer is probably not. Customers like free stuff because for one, they didn't have to go through much effort to get it, and two, there is no risk of spending money on something they might not like. It feels like hitting the jackpot. In most cases, in exchange for a freebie, you'll be asking for an email address, and the consumer knows all too well it will be used to send newsletters and promotions. So, to make it worth their time, you better offer something really good. How will it help the consumer? It doesn't have to hold the key to the universe, but readers are more likely to sign up when you offer them something that will save them time make something easy for them, or inspire them. Free memberships, ebooks, audio or video content, are all great ways to entice your potential consumers. Will it be worth it? In other words, don't make them feel that they're getting it for free because it's so cheap you can afford to give it away. Everybody wants to get a bargain out of it. You should treat the email customers are providing as if it were cold hard cash. Is it easy to use? If in exchange for an email you're offering a free personalized PDF with the solutions to a computer problem written in code, the customer won't really go for it. Sure, it could help them and yes it's free, but it'll be too difficult to use unless the person can understand code. This is about the overall freebie you're offering and how it can apply to a target audience. Use it to your advantage. 
Freebies are a great chance to show your customer what you or your company has to offer, from quality to service to worth. Your freebie has to stand out from the crowd. How do you get it to your audience? Sending stuff digitally is often the easiest and most common way to go about it. But remember that you can use the medium to your brand's advantage. Email marketing. There's a reason why this is the most common method, it's popular, cost-effective and measurable. In fact, more than 34% of the people worldwide use email that's about 2.5 billion people, and it's predicted to increase to 2.8 billion email users in the next two years. But in order to make the most of it, you have to apply the right tactics. These freebie strategies work as both word of mouth and a loyalty program to keep new customers flowing into your business. Put them in action today and come back to share your experiences. In the 20th century, Jell-O, a brand and registered trademark of its parent company, Kraft Foods, put freebie marketing in action by offering hundreds of free Jell-O recipes to households that didn't have any idea how to use the product to make delicious recipes. As a result, in a few years, the company reached new heights, going from earning nothing to earning $1 million in annual sales. Freebie marketing is not a new thing. It has been here for ages. Everyone knows it's all about offering freebies to lure customers, attract traffic, and increase sales. Over the past years, you must have seen a few companies giving away free products frequently to make customers quickly fall in love with their brand. Freebies never fail to work their magic. Even after reaching the pinnacle of success, businesses still use freebies to keep the flow of customers going and to allow customers to always remember the brand. Data also supports freebie marketing, saying that people will talk 20% more about brands that give away something for free. The process for consumers is very simple. The consumer must enter the site or go to the physical store of the company. All this will depend on the marketing strategy that has been chosen. The fundamental thing is that the free products are exclusive to online users. The most common way is to subscribe to the site and this will be enough to access all the free content offered by the brand. In addition, content marketing strategies can be used in order to offer valuable content for free and thereby achieve user data. A company that knows how to use freebies to its advantage. It's one of the main ways the company markets its products. For example, the company has been known to give out free beer in exchange for people signing up for its mailing list or visiting its website. Additionally, Heineken also offers free beer tastings in certain locations. By doing this, the company can get more people to learn about its products and potentially become customers. Freebie marketing is useful, but one needs to play the cards right. One thing to keep in mind is to offer value through freebie. Customers can buy products for the first time but if you don't provide value or the items are of poor quality then the customer might never return. Goal. There's always a purpose behind everything. Isn't? You need to be clear what you want to achieve through freebie marketing. Some want to boost sales, some want to get more social media subscribers and others want more site traffic. Most marketing emails are open via mobile, so also make sure yours are mobile friendly. And if you want to get really technical. Send out test emails to a small population. By sending several variations made to the subject line to a small sample of subscribers, you'll be able to see what works, and what doesn't. Freebies never fail to work their magic. Even after reaching the pinnacle of success, businesses still use freebies to keep the flow of customers going and to allow customers to always remember the brand. Data also supports freebie marketing, saying that people will talk 20% more about brands that give away something for free. Investing in marketing campaigns? To spread word of mouth and become your customer's favorite brand. And how much do you spend on marketing campaigns? The answer is probably too much, especially when freebie marketing achieves similar results in exchange for a much smaller investment. The ethical active wear brand girlfriend collective proved it well. Instead of hiring ad agencies or spending thousands of dollars on various marketing strategies, Girlfriend Collective decided to take a chance with word of mouth marketing which included giving away their product, leggings, for free. Customers fell in love with the story. Customers who wanted to receive a free pair of leggings had to check the FAQ page first, which explained how the brand worked hard to make leggings from plastic bottles while ensuring that their products were fair trade certified. The story left a positive impact on users and made them feel like they were supporting the cause by paying for the shipping cost. The story made customers feel good about themselves which in itself was a marketing strategy. They asked customers to recommend products. 
Would you be more willing to purchase a product that was recommended to you by your community, or a product that was shown to you in an ad? Of course, the first recommendation would be more effective. Instead of using an ad, Girlfriend Collective asked users to share the product on social media, and in return, they would get it for free. They created a sense of urgency. Ever get offered a limited time only deal? It makes you want to buy as soon as possible, right? Customers are eager to grab deals that are only available for a limited time, especially if it's free. Girlfriend Collective took maximum advantage of this psychology by offering free products for a limited time. In the world of marketing and advertising, there's only one word that sparks interest more than sale, and that is no other than the word free. Admit it or not, everyone loves to get something for free every now and then, even if it means waiting in line for hours. With this in mind, many businesses are looking into freebie marketing as an integral part of their marketing strategy may it be online or traditional. But what is freebie marketing really? Let's discuss. As the name implies, freebie marketing is a marketing strategy where a free resource or item is offered to your audience in order to gain sales, brand recognition or hype. It is designed to lure customers and encourage them to give your business a second look. Although the benefits of freebie marketing has long been established, many businesses are still reluctant to include this technique as part of their online marketing strategy. Visibility Freebies and strategic pricing are ineffective for people to know more about your products and services. By catching their attention, you're giving consumers a reason to choose you over the competition. Branding Brand marketing is very important if you want to gain online success. If people don't recognize your brand, then chances are they will be less inclined to purchase from you. Freebies allow you to establish your brand in a positive manner. Increased fan base Who doesn't like free items, right? When consumers receive something good for free, they will be more than happy to tell their friends about it. What does it mean for you? More customers, of course. Imagine walking into a store and see the most delectable chocolate cake ever. You go to the cashier to order and they say that you get another slice for free. What a treat, don't you think? And because you were so happy to get the freebie, you share your great find to your friends on Facebook, and most likely buy more items on the shelf. This is why freebie marketing works. It does more than just offer a product, it appeals to the consumer's emotions. It makes them feel happy and valued. Your goal in freebie marketing is not just to increase sales but to offer value to your customers. However, you need to keep in mind this is not a foolproof strategy. There are several factors that may affect the results of your freebie marketing. You need to set clear goals and guidelines with reasonable KPIs or outputs. Just like any marketing strategy, this requires preparation and can't be left to chance. Now that you know the basics of freebie marketing, the next stage is to determine what your freebie would be. The choice of freebie depends on your business and your marketing goals. Do you wish to gain more sales? Are you looking for more likes on your Facebook page? Or do you want to attract new customers? It would be a good idea as well to check for popular keywords. Research on the most common terms used when searching for freebies, and incorporate that with your product name or brand. You also have to understand the needs of your target audience. What customer concerns or problems you can address by offering your freebie? Will it provide value for them? In addition, you have to make sure it is in line with your business. You have to make sure it is in line with your business. You have to make sure that you can deliver your promise. White papers. White papers are similar to ebooks but are geared towards a different market, particularly B2B companies. They are designed to provide tips or information that may help the intended audience. Reports. Reports are collated information about a specific product or industry. It can be about the latest trends or statistics. E-courses. Free e-courses or online courses is another example of an effective freebie you can utilize. You can offer free course on online marketing, web design or a tutorial on one of the services you provide. Ebooks. Ebooks are one of the most popular type of freebie offered online these days. This is because it's easy to create and distribute. Graphic design. If your business is all about design, you might want to offer free design templates to your audience. Not only will it help increase brand awareness, it's also a great way to showcase your skills or services. Thank you for watching the video and subscribe the channel.